You might see yourself on camera as you walk past. <laughs> Look, <laughs> best side. Catch your best side. There's a few Hull fans around us who want to watch Gordon. And we had to keep saying they were on holiday because they were looking forward to seeing Gordon play today. I did think it was Murphy, but the, the cameraman actually showed me up on the, on the internet and said, woman, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> Oh, you are the love of my life, oh, Black We missed that one. We're Second number 75 for me, Trevor under 21. I thought he was, he was he really, really decent. What type of player for people I haven't seen again? Maxi. Hello, everyone. This is the last word. I've got, I've borrowed Dave from the women, <laughs> from NUFC women. I've brought him across to the men's. How are you? <laughs> Hello, lads. You are it? Hi, guys. <laughs> All right, the Sully's are gone past. <laughs> you might see yourself on camera as you walk past. <laughs> Look, <laughs> best side. Catch your best <laughs> side. <laughs> I've got a town, haven't you? The sun take yous. <laughs> Doing the better stand, that's right. <sighs> That was a great intro. I was asking how you were. How you got were. lost there. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Nice a bit day. worse for wear. Um, thoughts a bit gone, but yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm nice, all right. Uh, good as, good back to see some football again. Oh, no, it's killed me. I was telling you off camera, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah. Was it's terrible. It's really, months. really terrible. Not long to the last play either. Two weeks, so. isn't it? Two weeks. Not long. Can't go quick enough. Can't go um, quick enough. This is the last word. A little bit of a weird intro there, but this is what we like. <laughs> this is what we enjoy. <laughs> Let's get straight You've to it. You've got to get the Toon Army in somewhere. Yeah, I know. Obviously, if you haven't seen the vlog, go back, check that. I've also put a match reaction out. The lineup, it's pretty practically picked itself, didn't it? It did, yes, apart from the Miley. I was also Miley surprised Lewis, to see yeah. um, Jamal in as well. Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis, he had yeah. a couple of positions today, didn't he? Oh, it was weird, really weird. The, the, mid, the midfield was all over the place. They did they, they, they change it between Lewis. I mean, Lewis Hall playing centre midfield for a start. Yeah, then the and swaps. then he was changing with Har uh, Harvey Barnes all the time. But then Jacob was doing the same. I think the only person who kept midfield was Joe Linton. Yeah, and he was obviously the leader. Yeah, he in the was the only one I thought that played the whole midfield, didn't he? The rest of them were kind of swapping and changing and moving around. And I mean, there was a point where Jacob Murphy even played centre forward because Isaac dropped on the right hand side a couple of times. He which did. is weird to see. He did. Obviously, we've seen Fabian Shea and Miguel Miron get back in training, but obviously that isn't a surprise that they're not involved. I expect them to be involved in Japan, but... So I, quick, isn't it? Yeah, I doubt that the England lads will be there. De Bravka might come over, because um, he's the only one that's, I think, after the England two, like two lads, I think he's the only one that's missing. There's a, few, there is, there's a few Hull fans around us who want to watch Gordon. And we had to keep saying they were on holiday because they were looking forward to seeing Gordon play today. There's a he's lot of them around. I know. <laughs> he come back resting. <laughs> I know. He's, he's, had a, he's had a free summer. He's got another few weeks off. In a way, I'm glad because of he had the whole summer, didn't he? Was with the under 21s. Last year, last year, yeah. So he played at least a full year, won your football at least. So I'm glad that he didn't. I'd like to see him play, but I'm uh, glad he didn't because he gets to rest. I think. I think he comes back fresh then. Yeah. So we were wondering what the atmosphere was going to be like. We knew that the way fans, four and a half thousand. There was 13 thousand a day so a big chunk of Toon fans covering basically a third of the ground but um, and more. Uh, yeah probably more <laughs> than that, there was a lot of, especially the end of the fans there was a lot of empty seats uh, in there and let's talk about the game then um how did you find the first half obviously you mentioned a couple of those switches was it was, first couple of minutes we did okay first couple of minutes i thought we were all right about 10 minutes after that i thought hull came into a lot they did the start to gnash the teeth a little bit. I thought I thought they started well actually. Hope. They did, they did, they did okay. That's what I'm saying, they gnashed the teeth a little bit, but there was nothing for them. A lot of lads on where we were saying was well, that's how they play. Which I was quite I was surprised at. Um yeah, it's a pre-season, isn't it? It's it's one of them. Do you take anything from it? Well that's the thing, that's why we we'll ask that question, we'll come back to it. But in terms of obviously waiting for a, a genuine effort, obviously Nick Pope was forced into a... A lovely save. A great save, yeah. <laughs> lovely it, save. It was. Um, That's a Nick Pope save by far, that. I he, thought Vlad Shadimos, when he came on, actually had a couple of great saves He well. was the only one when, us, yet again, the whole phone's around us, so like, oh, and I went, oh, mm, I don't know. I don't know, but he did, he did lovely. He did lovely. came on. Yeah, he did lovely. Talk about them subs earlier, but um, we got the first goal eventually. We were wondering when it was coming. Uh, I thought we got a lot of joy on that right-hand side, actually, with Jacob Murphy. We did, yes. Um, you can you complain about the, what you call it, like the quality of the ball. Mm. But it's pre-season. I don't mind them making bad quality on the ball when it's pre-season. Because I think if the little ball had been a little bit sharper, I think it could have been a lot more than what it was. 
a little bit of wayward passing. The passing was a bit off, but it's pre-season. He's there, Alexander. Yeah. Like, you know, he's going to be with Talisman this season. So he's in around the box. It's not really his type of goal, just a scruffy finish. But the <laughs> strikers have done through the years, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why the bag, 30-yard goals a season. But didn't take too long before Harvey Barnes made it 2-0. He didn't. Who was it? Murphy. Was it Murphy? Murphy. See, I was at the event. I thought, I, I did think it was Murphy. But the, the cameraman actually showed me up on the, on the internet woman. and said, woman, say woman, say woman, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> There's me not getting home tonight. <laughs> you're, on the host, you're, on the host, you're on the hotel. Um, the couch, you don't have a a little chair. <laughs> yeah, I actually thought it was Harvey Barnes. So but on the internet, once you checked it off time, it was Jacob Murphy. There's news for me. That's what so I was, I was we, shocked as well. That's what happens when we come literally out the stadium and find out, because obviously the signal wasn't great for me. Yeah, it wasn't there. for us either. Aye, uh, but... Whoever it is, yeah, two nil, scrappy goal. But I thought it was comfortable until half time, and then then we're thinking, right, is he going to ring the changes at half time? Yeah, I he thought didn't. he did. He the didn't, to be fair. The only way that I didn't think he did was because he had ten them warming up. I thought if he was going to make a change, it might have been five of them warming up or six of them warming up. He'd have kept the four or whatever. But because there was ten warming up at half time, I didn't think he was going to make changes at half time. Eventually, seeing him though uh, was round about yeah, the you hour mark. Right. Uh -huh. 60 minutes is when yeah. he made the first ones. Made four, didn't he? Yeah. And there was a few more. I think the second half, naturally, when a lot of changes happened, Dave, it just, it just fizzles up and, out, doesn't it? Up until that point, I thought we were playing better football than what we did in the first half. We were more fluid, you know, we were shifting the ball around a lot easier, the ball passing was great. Then when we started making the changes, I think it was four that came on the first one. Yeah. Then I think it, the shape went. We, you couldn't tell. Moving. They were like as if they were chasing shadows. You no, know, like, oh, there's the ball, I've got to impress. And they were, like, they were chasing the ball instead of trying to play the game. I thought they were anyway. I thought the game just fizzled out. It did. Them, but we, Plus, talk, we talked about the Vlacha Demos. Yeah. Do you want to hear our song? Go oh, Vlacha <laughs> Demos, you are the love of my life, oh, Vlacha Demos. We missed that one. <laughs> I want to shout my wife, oh, Vlacha Demos. I want you want to see the face pull in there by Lorraine? <laughs> I know that's got to be clicked. <laughs> so yeah, but I was talking about he came on. Yeah. Um, I was worried because I've never seen him before. Uh, right, the first one getting down low. I know. I, that's I missed it because I was talking to a whole lot beside me, great and he went, "What is he?" And I went, <laughs> so I got like I missed it. I did miss great it, team. but I caught the second one. Second half, yeah. He should straight, Adam. No one else. He should save that one, but he was probably the um, an interesting one. Obviously, the rest of the lads were just kids. Any any of the kids impressed you? Number seventy-five. Trevan Sunusi. On the left hand wing. Yeah, I picked I picked the lads out in the water. Yeah, left hand wing. He was league. decent. He looked okay. Uh, looks good on the ball. He's got a bit about him. Um, he can beat a man. Yeah, he beat a few men as well. The rest of them, I think, I don't know because the shape had gone by then. We, we I don't know who was supposed to be playing where, who was supposed to be midfield, who was the defence. I think the only one that stayed on was Lewis Hall. And Dan Byrne, right? Yeah, to the that end, was it. One so the fifth minute. Obviously, we still got a lot of players missing. Like. Precaution, obviously Eddie Howe's not playing them, Sean Longstaff, forget there's injuries, Lewis, um, Lewis Miley's out for a couple of months, but his brother, yeah, Jamie, he did well. He played did well. a lot of the lot of the game in centre of the field about 65, then he reverted to right back, how do you think he got on today? He did all care, he didn't... Set the world alight. Yeah, he did, but he did, he did a job, he did a job, he, he wasn't he wasn't flustered, he, was, he looked okay on the ball, he didn't try to do anything stupid, but he did alright, you know, he didn't look out of place. Yeah. But then again, no thing versus pre-season. No, what, it's not. What do you make of Lewis Hall, Jamal Lewis swapping? Is that something that you might look at no, later on this season, no, or is it just no. because of Lewis Hall's the people, left, left because wheel. of the people lower yeah, missing? Yeah, yeah. If we'd have had Bruno and Sean that today, Lewis Hall wouldn't have been in centre midfield. Yeah. There's no way. I was surprised he played a three at the back. Could well, he play a three at the back? Did he play Crafty Burn and then Lewis at the back? With Tino and... He kept changing it, didn't he? Yeah, with Tino just off them, didn't he? We yeah. played a three at the back. He did keep changing it, but obviously Newcastle have come away. That's the most important thing of no injuries from what it looks like once again, which is great for pre-season. Um, minutes in the tank, obviously, they'll head off to um, Japan tomorrow. Um, that trip, that's going to be a lot more humid, intense. Yeah. Do you want to see a, little, a couple, couple of those extra players that have been missing? Yes. Involved, like, of course you've got to. Almiron, you've got to, have you? You'd expect Lloyd them to. Kelly, would Bruno not be back by then? I don't know if Bruno's going to be over there. 
Well, I don't think England lads will because we've seen. No, I could see Trippier move out yesterday, wasn't it? Seen Trippier head out to uh, Dubai, didn't we? But it'll be interesting to test because the humidity of it and the stickiness and the warmth. Yeah. I think it's going to be I a mean, different kettle of fish, isn't it? If any players overweight, they're not going to be by the time they get out of there because it'll be uh, <laughs> literally swelled. I might lose a couple of pounds myself when I'm out I there. I think there'll be a lot more changes during the game than what there was today. I know you may think there'll be about eight changes today. Do you think as the games go on, Naturally, we'll see less of the under 21s as yes. the first team has started coming. But I think the heat at Japan will make a difference. Aye. I think because he's got to make changes because of the heat. I think if they were going to somewhere like Europe, there wouldn't be as many. I think remember we went to China when this was literally announced. Yeah. There were so many because of the humidity yeah. over there as well. Mental that uh, time we got, went to China, we didn't have a manager. <laughs> um, but I, we're not going to hear from Eddie Howe because it'll only be the club's media that'll have it today, <laughs> so we're not going to touch that. Otherwise, we'll get told off, which we don't want to do. Um, so, we'll we'll wrap up things here then. If you if I had to pick a player for you, yeah, put you on the spot, sorry. Who would you say stood out with you? First, I'll give you two. First teamer and an under 21. I think you've already We're number 75 for me, under 21. I thought he was, he was really, really decent. What's he reminded of the type of player for people that haven't seen the game? Maxi. Max Lee, the wall of what, that kind yeah, of... Yeah, he is. He's, right, I'm going to beat you. Yeah, he's, 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 not, he's not scared to take a man on. Aye. And then another man, he's not scared to. He doesn't look phased. He's, he's a little thing as well, which is really strange. Like he's only really tiny as well, which is really weird. But he was he, he, he stood out for me, out the, out the kids anyway. Um, and if I was to pick one out of the first half... It's hard to because the opposition, I think, the opposition sat too deep, which kind of played us onto them and a little bit. It's hard against Loa. It is. Um, yeah. If I was to go devil's advocate and pick one, you could pick Port for that save, because that it's save was unreal. Yeah. Um, or Joe Linton. Maybe Joe yeah. Linton, maybe Harvey Barnes. I think Harvey Barnes looks fresh because he did yeah. it with the Germans as well. But I, um, that was his debut on the last word. Yeah. How was it? All right. See, you're a natural talker, dude. Wasn't bad. Didn't was shut bad. up, dude. I got, I got weird the last 10 minutes of the game. What, coming on the camera? No. <laughs> That's no. what I was about. I did, I did get with those was over there. <laughs> and then I remembered. Um, <laughs> yeah, the last 10 minutes of the game, I got a bit sicky bum. But I wanted them to score. I wanted them to see their crowd go. Oh, well, I didn't. I did. I just wanted to see a reaction from them. No, that's all I wanted. Because we had the two goals, I was okay with it. If it had been 1 0, I wouldn't have been. But we were 2 0 up at 80 minutes. They came on to us a lot more. Game if they'd have scored a goal, I just wanted to see them react. They might react. have brought the game alive. Yeah. Look, I just wanted to see the crowd react. I think Eddie Howe will take away the positives. It's yeah. a clean sheet. You're up against no better injuries. opposition because Hull against Were the there? Germans. Obviously, well, there is the rumours that we did play the midweek game of Tenali, but we'll never know if that's going to be released. Or no, not. they can't, can they? Because of... Yeah, because it wasn't it might, it might mess up Tenali's thing, isn't it? Aye, ah, official. It was, I don't think it's going to go down as official game, but... Uh, nice stadium, innit? It says it's quite nice, actually. It is, it's really quite nice. We were quite apprehensive because we had to sit in the home end, yeah. but it was actually, it was all right. We did quite enjoy it. You managed. Yes. As you can see, we were chatting and singing a lot. Your, your voice is all right, but Lorraine's is <laughs> <laughs> I am struggling a little bit. It's coming from the ball's end that's kind of making me talk, but yeah, we were chatting along and singing along as high as we could. And um, there was a few little rounders, but that was it. But yeah, it was yeah, all right. It is, it is a really nice stadium as well. Sorted me ticket this year as well earlier on, which was uh, nice of them. But right, from me and Dave, you'll see his face, of course, a lot more when the women start kicking back around, which isn't too long. And But that's it from us two at Hull. See you, everyone. Bye-bye.